What is up, guys? Welcome back to Dirt Floor Garage. I got parts in again. Let's put these puppies on. Let's do it. Okay. So, I gotta pull the hood off of this thing. It's a, it's a little easier with two people. Luckily for me, I'm a cheater and it's fiberglass. So I'm going to pull it off. <clears throat> now I got to pull the valve covers off. I already did half of this the other day. Golly, that was that was complicated, wasn't it? Can you hear me way over here? <clears throat> you know, I had thought about going racing tomorrow. But, I don't think we're going to make it. I think I'm going to put these parts on. These new valve covers. And see if it leaks or not. If it doesn't, I have definitive plans to go to the Upwood Open Practice at Duck River on the 1st of July. If I don't get to the track before then. I'm hoping I do, but today's economy is not very accommodating for a very budget race car driver. So, if I don't, I don't have very many complaints about that. <sighs> this stud is stuck in here. I gotta get some pliers. I'll be right back. What's in this box? Oh, shunker, conker, 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 shunker, conker, conker, conker. Extra thick gaskets and one hundred and thirty dollar valve covers. God bless. If these things twist up and leak, I'm quitting. I ain't ever going back. They're awfully pretty though. I'd hate to put a fingerprint on them. <laughs> Oops. Oh, hear me when I say that racing, not even racing, parts changing never ends when you buy a race car. Sorry, that's probably loud. I had to screw the breather tubes on these, these fancy things right here. Look at that. They're, they twist in. I ain't never. I ain't never. telling you in the welding it's just beautiful i don't know i'm telling you know what speedway motors <clears throat> every time i ordered one of these too because i almost took the one from the track the other night and i would have felt bad about it so i decided to spend 20 dollars to order my own okay look at here 130 30 130 30 level not level one of those was twisted up like a dang pretzel if these leak I'm, I'm telling you man I'm giving up 100% the whole car will be for sale before too long I'm sure oh I left my dang gum valve cover over there you know, anyway, what I was saying. I seem to complain a lot about the expenses of racing. And I shouldn't. Because I knew what I was getting into before I got into it. It is expensive. But it's the funnest thing I've ever done in my life. I ain't no good at it. But it brings my family together. 
it gets us all in one spot doing the same thing and it makes people proud of me at the same time and I I haven't done anything in my life that ever gives me that same feeling as it does when I'm pulling on to the racetrack or pulling off of the racetrack and having everybody there with me. If you've never raced in your life and you and you really want to, don't waste any time doing it. But be warned that it's hard, it's expensive, it's time time consuming and there's not a whole lot of reward for it. <laughs> um, if you were to get into one of these bigger paying classes, then yeah, sure, but you better be ready to throw some money out for that too. But I'm telling you right now, I wouldn't trade this for the world. Lesson I just learned. Just because they're more expensive doesn't mean they're any easier to put on. I think there's a rat in the ceiling. I hope it don't follow me. There is a drawback to having a dirt floor garage attached to a pig barn. Rats, snakes, and birds. And there's plenty of them. Why don't you, if you are as blue collar and, uh, you know, dealing with the same type of thing I am, let me know. Let me know what you got to deal with in your workspace on a daily basis. I'd love to hear the stories. There he goes again. It's up there somewhere. My God, I swear to God, there's a dead gum rat in this roof. Oh, I really don't want it to follow me. I'm gonna have to get the pellet gun out and go rat hunting. Anyway, back to work. Oh, me. So, I wanted to ask everybody what they really think of this channel. What kind of content would you like to see? Because... Obviously, I'm not going to be able to make race car content all the time. Um, my plans when I started racing was not to race every weekend anyway. It's not practical for my family's budget and time, time frame. So, um, I have other things, you know. Like, I got my go-kart. I've had a go-kart since I was like two years old I still got it and my son found it in the weeds the other day and I thought about getting that going you know maybe doing a little video of that or something another Ow! but let me know what you want to see out of this channel cuz I ain't no good at making videos I know that but it's fun. And when I'm dead and gone, they'll still be around. It'll give my kids something to watch, you know, look back on. Like, hey, there's Daddy. Back when he was a young man, even though he looks 40 because he's bald now. He was 28 back then. My birthday was June 5th, by the way. Happy birthday to me. I appreciate those 2.5 million people sending me a dollar. I'm just kidding. Seven people sent me a dollar. Better than nothing. I'm not complaining. Appreciate it. I also 
want to shout out every single person that is offering me help with everything. Matt Dunn, you are awesome, brother. Anytime I need something, you're like the first person messaging me. Even if I don't need it, you're shooting me a message. And I I really appreciate that. Colin Honey, my young friend from way back in the day. You're like my number one fan, man. That's the coolest thing in the world. I never ever thought that would happen. I appreciate you. Jonathan Caldwell, I could kick your ass for getting me into this, but I appreciate all the support and help you give me. Cody Hill, you owe me anyway. I'm just kidding, but I love you. I'm just kidding. Uh-oh, what'd I do? <sighs> Dang it. Hang on. Anyway, like I was saying, Cody, I appreciate everything you do for me, brother. We go way back. And I love you for it. Mom and Dad, I appreciate everything you do. To my wife, thank you for dealing with my hours in the garage and tending to the kids while I'm at the racetrack and telling me I did a good job even when I did. I love you. Thanks, everybody. I couldn't do it without you. Look at that. I got it in there. <laughs> I lost my screwdriver. Wait, there it is. Found it. So when you guys tighten these up, do you do the top row and then the bottom? Or do you jump around like I do? I ain't gonna crank these bad boys all the way down. But I'm gonna get them snug. Let me know. Please. Please don't leak this time. I would really appreciate it if you didn't leak this time. For sure. Okay. That's it. Oh, I gotta open up the garage door. Otherwise, I'll suffocate. Oh, dang. It's like 70 degrees out here. I wasn't expecting that. So, before I get too far, I gotta plug my plug wires back in. And I gotta pull these bad boys back up here where they go. and Make sure they ain't touching nothing. and All that good in business. Put this back up in here. Run that one back in there. Go! Uh, oh, shoot. Well, how'd that one come off now? Golly. That's way down in there, too. I ain't built for this crap. I just need to work for a race team where I can drive the car. And I ain't got to spend the money or energy working on the car. I'm just kidding. That's my favorite part. Okay, no plug wires on the headers. Let's look at the other side. Well, I didn't have to take none of those off. Look at that, I can see myself. I need a GoPro. I'm lame, I'm using my cell phone. Damn. Let's fire this jalopy up. I ain't started it in like two weeks. Take it out of gear. Ignition on. Purple lights. Ignition. Start. Nope, not yet. Nope, not yet. What's going on? Huh. Huh. Explain to me how in the hell I can let this thing sit for one week and all I did to it was fix the valve cover gaskets. Well, I didn't even fix them. I pushed it back in the garage. Then I come out today and it's not getting any freaking fire. Sweet mother of Lord, when I tell you that it never ends with a race car, 
It never freaking ends. Ugh. Okay. Let me try to trace this down. <sighs> covers ain't leaking no more but my dad gum oil pressure gauge is ha <sighs> healing hop what am I gonna do with this thing <sighs> whatever I'll get some Teflon tape put on it eventually video over just kidding that's all for today. What the heck? Look at this. Man, there's oil coming out of here. I should have put freaking Teflon on that too. Now I gotta look at the other side. Oh wait, there's not breathers on the other side. I'm a doofus. I knew that. I didn't tighten that down though. There's oil coming out of that too. I quit. <laughs> I clearly don't know what I'm doing. Whatever. It's gonna work though. The valve covers themselves aren't leaking anymore. That's a good sign. Anyway, we'll catch you next time. Enjoy your night, week, day. Have a good one. See you later. Mm -hmm.